Hi guys and welcome to the Android Tutorial YouTube channel. Today we're gonna see how to back up your messages, information and everything from WhatsApp. Uh, it's a very easy process but it's one of my most requested videos at the time. So basically WhatsApp, if you don't know, it's a messaging app, uh, very popular in the United States, in Latin America, in Europe, basically everywhere. And it's owned by Facebook. So what you're gonna see is how to back it up. The reasons why you wanna back it up would be uh, just in case you end up losing your phone the next day, hopefully not, or you wanna switch to a new phone so you don't wanna lose your messages, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's good to have it. So first thing we're gonna do is go to settings. And from settings, we are gonna go to chats. From there, we have, you could see the fourth option where it says chat backup. And um, it says that, uh, well, several information. First of all, it says that my last local backup, not cloud backup was done at 2.11 a.m. And ha it has never been uploaded to Google Drive because um, really what we're doing is that WhatsApp doesn't have a cloud in order to upload it to. What it is doing right now is that um, it will upload all your information in a single file and upload it to Google Drive uh, in a secure manner. So basically you could see back up your messages and media to Google Drive. You can restore them when you reinstall WhatsApp. Your messages and media will also back up to your phone's internal memory. Um, media and messages you backed up are not protected by WhatsApp and end to end encryption while you while in Google Drive. So that's important. Um, things to consider. So first thing to consider is that if you're moving to an iPhone, uh, iPhone has a different way of storing messages. So this won't work. This is if you're still using, gonna be using Android. Uh, the reason is that uh, iOS uses iCloud to store this. So you won't be able to retrieve your information from iCloud because it's stored in Google Drive. That's first thing. Uh, and basically the most important one. Also, you're able to retrieve your backup from your internal memory and we're gonna see it in a different video. But basically here are the Google Drive settings. So how often do you want it to back up? So if you're freaking out about losing your information, you could do it daily, you could do it weekly, you could do it monthly. Um, take into consideration that this does take a lot of your bandwidth. So it's normally done during the night when your bandwidth is less uh, utilized. So that's something to, to take into consideration. And also you got the option of only when I back up. Um, so if you come and hit back up, that's gonna be an option. Okay, here you would see your email address which you would select, and it says that it's authenticating at the moment. So as you can see, uh, you got here your information, you got here backup over, and that's also something important. So you could do it over Wi-Fi or cellular network. One more thing to consider is that if you do it through cellular network and you got a data cap, it's gonna eat up all your, all your data. So basically, Take that into consideration and connect it to Wi-Fi so you won't be losing your data. And last but not least is include videos. So obviously videos are very, very big. Uh, WhatsApp normally like compresses the video so it does make it a little bit uh, smaller, but that's the reason why it uh, has a chat box to include the videos or not. So photos are gonna be there uh, for sure. The question is if you want videos or not to be uploaded. Well, you basically, since I have that only when I tap backup, so I'm gonna do it. And you can see that it's gonna start backupping my uh, information and preparing to upload to Google Drive. So as you can see, it says that it's uploading 28 megabytes of the backup that it did. Um, contrary to the one that it says 44 megabytes, uh, it uploaded it in a in a compressed file, so it would be much faster. Okay, as you can see, the backup is ending at the moment.
it says that it's 28 megabytes of 28 megabytes so it's uh, currently wrapping up and by the way something noteworthy is that during the backup this whatsapp notification will always be there so as you can see it's something that you cannot uh, move away or dismiss it's always going to be there until the backup finishes okay so it's done you can see that it has new information it says that the last backup was done at 8.47 a.m. and that it was uploaded to Google Drive at 8.55. So normally you could see like seven minutes in between each other. And that the actual size right now it's uh, 28 megabytes. So basically what I've done is that I have reset my WhatsApp information uh, for you to see where this takes effect. I'm going to um, approve permissions and I'm gonna add my phone number. So this is the startup screen, which is the most important for this video at least. It says that if you wanna restore the backup, it says that it found a backup that it was done nine minutes ago, that it's 28 megabytes in size, it says my account, and it says that it's gonna restore the messages and media from Google Drive. So if you would like only to restore it, you just click restore, and if you like to skip it, obviously you just skip it do know that if you skip it you are not able to get it back i'm gonna just restore and you'll see that it goes there slowly slowly um retrieving the backup so there's a progress bar here which will be uh, filling in as soon as um, everything is downloaded so yep basically that's it the next screen it will only be your chat messages and you will be receiving them all um, as if you had your messages from before so that would basically be it for backup and restore on whatsapp which i find it really handy uh, just take into consideration everything i've said during the video and you will be fine um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel i appreciate all your help all your comments um, great great and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.